Hey Aquarius, welcome to your May of 2019 Sidereal Astrology Forecast. All right, so in this video, we're gonna talk about the uh, most important astrological events taking place for your sign here this month. Um, and uh, if you look down here at the chart, you will see that we, we are using the actual size of the constellations. Uh, see how they're different sizes here? So this does change the signs from mainstream astrology, um, which use an even uh, 30 degrees for each of these constellations. So um, this does change the signs. And so if you are new uh, to this channel, definitely check out the link down below for more information uh, because um, you do want to make sure you're watching this video for the correct sign. All right, so Aquarius, let's take a look here at the beginning of the month on the 4th and 5th. We do have a new moon in your third house. So this is the lowest part of the lunar cycle in terms of energy. And uh, it's just a subtle new beginning here coming into around the 4th and 5th. And this will likely have to do with your practical side. So new beginnings, some examples might be new beginnings with learning, new beginnings with uh, reading or taking a course, learning something new, especially if it's about practical knowledge. It could be a new beginning with writing or some other form of communication any forms of communication also new beginning with, and just fundamentally just everything in your more, your more immediate environment and really how you perceive things. What is your perspective on things from that practical front? So great to sit with this new moon, maybe set some intentions around these kinds of things. And I think you'll notice that this is a great month of unfoldment uh, for this sector. Now also on the fourth and fifth, we do have Mars opposite up to Jupiter. And so this is going to give us all collectively maybe a bit of inspiration, free spiritedness, confidence, a bit of proactive energy as well. And it's going to be involving this axis that has to do with your career and public life balanced with your personal life or home life. And this is because down here in the home and family sector or in the health sector, um, you do have Mars here. And so there has been and still will be for at least the first half of this month or longer. Uh, definitely plenty of drive and motivation that can be put into your home uh, sector in some way or, or into family or into your health, perhaps, especially if it's physical or active health, uh, for example. So that's still going on. And so great to do that. And that's where a lot of the confidence can be. But there's also these opportunities or inspirations you may have had this year regarding career or productive stuff. So it's going to be a really good time uh, coming into the month to find this balance, essentially, between the drives with the personal life and the inspirations with the public or productive life. And this is the classic example of balancing, you know, home with work um, or your personal life and your public life or past and future, even these kinds of things. So any intentions you set around creating that balance um, just makes it that much better. I mean, it's a good aspect to work with. It's easy to work with. And like I said, there could be opportunities and motivation in both of these areas at that time. All right. So that's the fourth and fifth. And then on the eighth, we do have Mercury going over your modern ruler of Uranus. And there's been a lot shifting with your ruler um, from last month in uh, April. Uh, Uranus has recently come into this third house. Now, on the eighth, when Mercury activates this, this is going to be another step in the right direction involving what may have been this past two weeks or so of developing your ideas, unique ideas, unique maybe ways of communicating yourself, again, writing or speaking or um, learning something new that's outside the norms. And, and again, it's really about seeing things in a completely new perspective. So great to do that. Great to think outside the box pivot experiments when it comes to ideas and communication. And I think you'll just find that to be supportive with this uh, conjunction, giving another step in the right direction involving this area. So fast forward to mid-month on the 15th, we do have uh, some sign changes. We have the sun going into that fourth house where Mars was and Mars going into your fifth house at this time. So again, there will still be more developments regarding your roots, personal life stuff, Again, home and health are common examples of this. Um, but your shift of focus is definitely going to go into this area the second half of the month. So great to do that. Focus on the area. Um, build some roots. Also a great time for creating a protective environment for yourself and others. A bit of uh, private life. Um, caring, nurturing energy as well. And, um, and that you'll find that, that to be the source of your energy and life force. Particularly the second half of the month going into June. Now, with Mars going into your fifth house, your motivation is likely going to start going into 
your self-expression the second half of the month. Some of you might just feel a little bit more motivated to have fun, express yourself, uh, spend time with the people and things that are close to your heart, that you're passionate about. And you could even be quite direct with your self-expression the second half of the month. So good motivation and drive there when it comes to those fiery things. Now on the 18th, Venus does pass over Uranus. And this is in your third house of, again, communication. Now, one of the reasons this is significant is that Venus will be the last planet to leave your second house, which was the emphasis last month in April. Because there's a lot of en energy in April regarding maybe your self-value, maybe self-reliance. Some of you, maybe your income or your resources. And so that's all finalizing this month, but it's happening in steps. And the last planet to leave there will be Venus around the 16th to the 18th uh, to finalize that area for good in terms of the fast movers of the year. Now, Venus going into the third house means that around the 18th, again, you may find, in this sense, new value, new things you enjoy around these practical matters like learning or communication, right? So enjoying it, there could even be some maybe relationship energy, something new there in terms of communication, um, exchanging ideas, practical stuff there that is, again, enjoyable both in your personal life and in your interpersonal life and um, some new beginnings and maybe existing sort of uh, relationships or things on that practical level. Now on the 18th, there is gonna be a full moon and this is going to be in your ninth house and it's the house of travel, adventure. Fundamentally, it's the, the, the house of expanding your horizons. So it could also deal with philosophy or your, your sort of perspective of life. So if you think back to about six months ago, there may have been some new beginnings involving this area of expanding your horizons. And so now with the full moon on the 18th, it's gonna be on some level a harvest of this, a completion, a culmination in a sense. Now, not everything will be completed, of course, because with the full moon, you're gonna gain some insight about it, right? About the expanding of your horizons. And that's gonna help you further develop this area for the remaining six months as you then continue this second half of the solar cycle involving this area. And that's nice too, because it's gonna help balance out a lot of that more practical stuff that you're involved with, like the communication or whatever. This is more on the expansive front. And it's about abstract ideas and philosophies in your, your worldview. All right, and then the last thing here this month is on the 21st, and this is gonna be Mercury passing over the sun in that fourth house. So again, more steps in the right direction involving your roots, home or health, common examples here in your personal life. And with this, maybe some ideas, maybe some things you might be excited about or just aware of. There's be some um, sort of shift of focus and just further understanding about something in this area. And this is important because next month in June is when you're gonna have the actual new beginning here involving your personal life, home or health sector. And so this is just giving you information, giving you a bit of a prelude, building a sort of some, some foundations here for what will be these new beginnings in that area next month. All right, so Aquarius, have a fantastic May. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to click that like button if you found this video helpful, and I will see you all next time for the next video. Take care.